lovelies? My name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit and welcome to the first update for Deck of Panning. I feel like I did this intro forever ago even though I really didn't um, but I also feel like the last little bit of January and so far all of February has just flown by. So who knows what's up with that but it was a month ago that this went up and we are here. We are ready to get into this update. As always, everything is down there. This project was created by Emily. The playlist, her um, community playlist, the spreadsheet, everything is down there, so go check it out. But let's get into this, because this is quite an interesting update. I do think so myself. So in the intro, I pulled my five cards. So I'm gonna go through those with you guys, what the prompts were, what my products are, and where we're at. So first off, I pulled the Three of Diamonds, and that was the goal to or the prompt to hit a new pan so i decided i wanted to hit a new pan in a brand new eyeshadow palette now this is my chocolate martini palette from glam light and this had been untouched so i decided i wanted to hit pan in a brand new shade but i wanted it to be a shimmer first of all they're a little bit easier for me to hit pan in plus i heard that it didn't take too long to hit pan in glam light shimmers how long exactly i'm not sure but I decided that's what I wanted to do. So I was focusing on this one right here, which is called Vanilla Vodka. Now you can see that there's a little bit of usage in there and you can see that yellow shift quite a bit. Um, I didn't realize how strong that yellow shift was until I put it onto my eyes. I had paired it with Cornflower, I believe, which is from Glaminatrix and it's in my Panthos eyeshadows and it was a stunning eye look. So I'm really excited to get back into that. If you're not aware, even though I've mentioned it multiple times, I'm currently not able to wear eye makeup. So between the small amount of time that I had started this project and not able to wear any eye makeup, I feel like I still got a decent amount of use on this shade alone. I don't know how many times I used it exactly, but I did try to pair it quite often with whatever I was wearing, whether it was the inner half or just the inner corner of my lid. And I love how this looks. Um, like I said, it does have a strong yellow shift to it. So pairing it with cornflower is just making me itch to play with not only this palette and those shades, but just everything in my collection. Um, but I'm really excited to like pair this with another purple and see how that pans out or just other shades in general and get some more use on this. So I do think it's like once I start wearing eye makeup again, I don't think it's gonna take me too long to hit pan in this, but again, I'm gonna wanna play with a lot of stuff. Um, so we'll have to see how much I actually reach for, what is in projects and what is just in my collection, what I feel like doing, but I feel like this could definitely, because it is a like inner corner shade or you know an inner half shade, I could pair it with a lot of eyeshadow tones and colors and just get a lot of use on it so i do think that i'm still going to focus on this quite a bit because i would love to see pan in a brand new palette that has been untouched that is pretty much the i think it's the only shade in this palette that i've actually played around with so next i rolled in the seven of diamonds which was a fragrance so i decided to go with a body spray from bath and body works and this is in champagne toast i had started when it was sitting just above these champagne glasses so i have used a little bit and my goal is to finish this um i do believe that's probably going to take me the full length of this project i did have this in pan your name when i first started that project and it was sitting brand new my goal was to get it down to the top of the champagne glasses, which is where this was sitting at when I started last month. And all in all, it took me about a year or so to get there. So I do have a feeling that this is going to be in here for the long haul, probably until the very end, but I enjoy this scent, so I'm not too worried about it. It's light enough that when I pair it with other scents, because I don't wanna just focus solely on this, it kind of breaks up the intensity of a couple of other sprays that I'm working on or just perfumes in general. I can throw it on at night before bed and it's just a light airy scent so I really do enjoy this and I have no issues with this being in here for a long term. So for my next card which was the Jack of Diamonds, it was a random letter and I ended up choosing the letter O. So I pulled in my ColourPop and Lizzie McGuire palette. This is the What Dreams Are Made of palette. And I was working on the shade Audi. So that is this 
peach orangey type of shimmer shade right here again not a whole lot of use because i didn't have a whole lot of time but i want to say i used it maybe two or three um which still isn't too bad because i think i had maybe about two weeks or so in between this project starting and me not being able to wear eye makeup so two or three uses really isn't that bad i'm actually like pretty happy with that and of course i really like pairing it with like my coral blushes and stuff like that so the fact that I have my Pat McGrath palette or face palette sorry as my pen that face palette for this year I'm really going to enjoy pairing this with the coral shade in there I think it's going to get a lot of use when I'm doing those coral tone looks I do right now because the time of year that it is still lean a lot more towards the rosy tones I'm using a lot more of the rosy blush so that's kind of where I'm gravitating towards so I feel like if I was doing eye looks, it would still be a lot of the mauves instead of like the peaches, but spring is coming and this is going to be a year long. So we've got lots of time. Um, next, I rolled in the Six of Clubs, which was Graveyard. So I also pulled in a shade from this palette as well. I decided to roll in Outfit Repeater and my goal was to finish it. So this shade, this pan was outfit repeater. And as you can see, it's completely finished. Now you might be asking, how did I finish off an eyeshadow when I haven't been able to wear eyeshadow? I was wearing it as a highlight. Now, not only was I wearing it like as a highlight, I was pairing it with others so it wouldn't be too deep. It was still probably a little bit too dark as a highlight. Um, but I still really enjoyed it. I would pair it with a highlight in my Pat McGrath in my Pat McGrath face palette. And a lot of the times when I would reach for this shade, I would also reach for one of my Bitter Lace Beauty highlighters and pack it on top. So I would kind of blend this and another highlighter together and then grab my Beauty Lace highlighter and just pack it on top just to give this pink tone underneath something else to kind of balance it out or to just kind of like be a base and have like a different highlighter as the main focus. So that's how I did it and I actually finished that off yesterday. Now it did have pan in it when I rolled it in last update, but I really was not expecting to completely finish it off before this update. It went a lot quicker than I was expecting. So I'm really happy about it. I'm very happy that I not only have like some use on this palette but a whole shade completely finished off i do want to say though that shade was my favorite in this palette so now i have to find another favorite but i'm really hoping that by using audi as well which was that peach tone shade that this sh this palette will just show a lot more love over the next few months and i'm just really looking forward to it because you've heard me once you've heard me twice oh it matches my shirt lizzie mcguire was my life as a child and then last but not least, where is the product? Let me, I don't think I brought it over here. Okay, let me just go grab that. All right, so I grabbed my product. Um, the last card that I pulled was the 10 of clubs, which was to spotlight a panner. And I found that a lot of people or a good amount of people got this card in the intro, which I think is just so cool. Um, but I decided to go with Deb B. Now for her, I chose my hollow taco nail polish and circuit breaker and my goal was just to use it for a couple of months anyways so i only used it once um i do have a photo that i will put up i did include this photo in my project panicure update actually the day that i'm filming this is the 18th and that's the day that that project went up um but i forgot to talk about it so i do have photos and videos so this is what is it was looking like when I wore them or wore it, sorry. Um, but I chose this for a couple of reasons. Now, one, Deb created Project Panic here. And the way that that project works is basically however you want it to work. So with the way that I wear my nail polish, it works out so perfectly for me. You basically just wear nail polish. And then at the end of it, you just show photos of like your nail looks. You talk about it. You pick your favorite, what your favorite, what you're not what your least favorite was and you move on. Um, 
Also, in that project, I'm using all of my Holo Taco nail polishes, and Deb also received a couple Holo Taco nail polishes for Christmas. Now, this is what Circuit Breaker is. It's a linear Holo. It's from the Electrix collection. Like, if you can see that, it is so pretty. I should have chosen a purple since purple is her favorite color, but silver goes with purple so well. I actually did a look. It wasn't with this shade, but it was with a silver nail polish from Holo Taco along with a purple creme polish from Holo Taco. I will put up the looks. I did one hand silver, one hand purple. Um, and just the two shades together look beautiful. So silver goes with purple. I made it all tie in and work, but this is what we're looking at. So I do wanna use it a little bit more. I only used it the one time. Over the last month, I've been changing up my nails quite often. Um, I will probably do it in a day or two as well, but I just wanna use this a few more times. I don't think I wanna put a usage goal on it necessarily, but we'll just see how many times I use it over this next month. And if I use it more than two, then I will roll it out. And if I use it less than two, I will keep it in for one extra month. So that's where we're sitting at. That is what are all of the products that I was working on. I'm sorry, this video is just kind of all over the place and I can't talk right now, um, but I'm trying to get through this. So with all of that, I have one product rolling out. So I get to pull another card and I get to see what we will be working on. So let me pull up the spreadsheet. I'm not gonna look at it, but I just wanna pull it up just so that I have a bit of an idea from when we got there. Okay, so let's shuffle and see what we end up getting. I will put up a screenshot of the, uh, the game board so you can take a peek and see what's on there. I'm really curious. I know she switched up a few of the prompts this year, so we'll have to see. I feel like a lot of these products, which I kind of thought about but didn't really think all that well through like in the intro is like mainly all long-term products for me in one way or another so I'm interested to see how this project is going to pan out over this whole year if it's going to be a lot of like long-term products and I just dropped all of the cards so there's only one card that is flipped over out of all of the ones that I dropped so I'm going to use that one because that one wants to be a surprise. So let's see what this card is. It's the Queen of Clubs. So the Black Queen is in it for the long haul. I should have just kept my mouth shut. All right, so let me go find something that I want to include in with all of my other long-term products. And you know what, at this point, this might just be a very long-term project for me, but that's okay. So let me go find something and I will be back. Okay, so I decided to go with an eyeshadow, but I'm going with an eyeshadow single so that I don't feel like I have, um, or that I'm taking away palettes to work on and pan those eyeshadows or project level up. I feel like singles, it's going to be a little bit easier to kind of pull them away because even though I include them in um, pan those eyeshadows, I'm only randomizing like the amount that I have to work on so the more singles I work on the better it is my collection exploded a bit last year so no worries but anyways let's get to showing you the single that I will be working on now this is snow cone by Luxy, and it is such a pretty blue shimmer shade I want to hit pan in this I haven't used it yet but I want to hit pan in this and I feel like this is a good shade for me to work on. Um, one, to step out of my comfort zone a little bit more, especially when it comes to blues. But two, I've been wearing haze, or I was wearing haze, from my Mercury Retrograde palette in my inner corner. It's a matte turquoise or a matte, like very light blue. Um, I really enjoy how the haze shade looks and just works in my inner corner. So I figured why not pull something very similar but an actual shimmer and use that in my inner corner. I can top it off on top of haze if I want to, if I continue to use it that way, or just with spring coming up because it is already the middle of February, we are slowly but surely getting there. I do feel like this is gonna take some time. 
um, to hit pen on, but I do think, especially because it is a blue, um, it is probably going to take me a bit to get there. But I think that this is just a perfect shade to work on for the time of year that's coming up, for something that's going to push me out of my comfort zone, and just to give, you know, that inner corner a little bit of a pop of something pretty, something different, something that I normally wouldn't really, really do. So I'm really excited um, about rolling that one in. So that will be excluded from Pan Those Eyeshadows whenever I get back around to doing that project. And that is it. So we have my five products that I'm still working on. So that shade, we have the spray from Bath & Body Works. We have a circuit breaker for at least another month or two. And then we have my What Dreams Are Made Of palette. We will be working on Audi right here. And then Vanilla Vodka from the Glam Light Chocolate Martini palette, that one right there. So once I'm able to start wearing eye makeup again, you bet that a couple of those shades will be dug into quite a bit and I'm so excited and so ready for it. Um, but that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Again, I apologize. I am not really able to talk very well today, especially in this video for whatever reason. Um, but we have made it through. So thank you for sticking around and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.